Hi, this is Emily Levy with a video version of Tech Tips Plus. Last week, I sent you an email, which I hope you saw, that asked you to answer a quick survey that existed inside the email itself. And the survey looked like this. It asked you to tell me which service you're currently using for your email list. And I offered that if you wanted to hear how I did it, um, you could reply and tell me you wanted to hear that. And enough people did that I decided that I would make a video for everyone on my list about how I created this survey and how you can create one too. So that's what this video is about. And um, I'm, the service that I use for my email list is Active Campaign. So I'm gonna demonstrate for you how I, do, how I did this in Active Campaign. Depending on what you use, you may or may not have all the features, and so you may not be able to get quite as much information from your survey as I was able to get from mine. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that. So notice that each of these links is a hyperlink, meaning it's text that when you click on it will go somewhere. So the first thing you need in order to set this up is to decide where you're going to send people when they click on each link. So if you clicked on one of the links, you got to a page that looked like this. It just says, got it, thanks for letting me know. And um, you, so you could send someone to a page like this that you've created, a different one for each option, or you could send them somewhere else that makes sense. Like you could, if you were surveying people about um, what's your favorite cuisine to eat when you go out to eat, you could send them to a recipe that's for that cuisine and it would make sense to them that they would be sent there. So you want it, but you, one way or another, you want to choose a link for each selection that someone might make that will make sense to them about where they're getting sent when they click on it. Now, if you have a system that um, is simpler than active campaign. It may be that the only information you can get from your survey is how many people clicked on each link. And you can get that by going to the reporting area of your software. But active campaign actually allows me to do something fancier, which is going to tell me not only how many people clicked on each link, but exactly who clicked on which link. And if I look at any person who, who clicked on the link, if I look at their contact record inside Active Campaign, I can now see which link they clicked on. So let me show you how that works. Here it, we are in my sandbox application, my demonstration um, account that I have with Active Campaign because I'm a, a certified consultant with them. And I've mocked up an email that looks sort of like what I send to you. Um, and I've typed in the different options, but I haven't made them into links yet because I wanted to show you that part of the process. So I'm going to select Active Campaign, and then I am going to click the link icon. And this is basically how it works in any system, just about. And I'm going to type in here the link where I want people to go when they click on those words Active Campaign. So just for the purposes of this, demonstration, um, I'm going to just ha send them to the Active Campaign website. That's not actually what I would want to do ordinarily, but I think it'll, it'll be a little clearer here. Now here's where the Active Campaign magic kicks in. I get to add an action that happens automatically when someone clicks on the link. By clicking on this button, and I'm going to add a tag. A tag is a label that goes along with the other information. It's a, it's a, allows me to attach a piece of information to a person's name and email address inside Active Campaign um, so that I can use that to segment my list. So in this case, I'm going to add a tag that's, that says um, segmentation Active Campaign user. And I use that segmentation word at the beginning because this is something I'm going to use to segment my list to only say if I wanted to send something only to people that told me they're active campaign users. And I like to keep all the, the tags that have that purpose together. So I use the word segmentation at the front so I can alphabetize them and all the segmentation tags will be together. That's may maybe that's beyond really the scope of what I want to talk about here. So I'm not going to go into it. It'll make sense to some of you and not to others. And that's OK right now. So what this means is any time that somebody 
receives this email and clicks on this link that says Active Campaign. They are going to be taken to the, the URL that I put in there, which is the Active Campaign website, and their contact record inside active, my Active Campaign account is going to be tagged with something that tells me that they are a user of Active Campaign. So then I would just go to the next one, highlight it, click the link icon, type in a different URL, and add a tag that in this case will say segmentation MailChimp user. So anyone who clicks on that link, I'm going to find out that they use MailChimp. So that's basically how I set it up. And again, if you don't have a system that uses tagging or that allows you to add a, um, a tag on a click within the email, um, you still can create a survey like this, but the only information you'll be able to get from it is how many people clicked on which link. Whereas I'm going to be able to go into my contacts and sort them by, the, by tag, and I could send an email only to people who have clicked on MailChimp or only to people who have clicked on AWeber or Infusionsoft or whichever item is on the list. So that's basically how I did it. Um, and I want to just acknowledge that there's a piece I'm not demonstrating here because I think it will be too confusing, which is how it is that I set it up so that everybody got sent to the same page without confusing the system. So um, I will just say for those of you who are wondering that I use redirect links to do that. So if you're at the point where you um, want to do something like that, you can look up how to use redirect links with your website and I think you'll be able to figure it out. Um, but that's really um, kind of a more advanced step that not everyone would need to do. So that's that's the way I created the survey and you can use surveys for in your emails for all kinds of things to get more information about what people are interested in who are on your email list. If you haven't chosen a system yet for your email list, I do strongly recommend ActiveCampaign. I absolutely love it. If you're interested in checking it out, you can get a free trial. And if you sign up through my, through this link, emilylevy.com slash go slash active dash campaign that you see on your screen right now. Um, and let me know that you've done that. I can get you the second month free at the small business level of membership. So do let me know if, you, if you'd if you like to take advantage of that. And again, you can sign up for Active Campaign at emilylevy.com slash go slash active dash campaign. They offer a two-week trial so you can get in there and play around with it and see if you like it. And um, let me know if you want me to arrange for that second month free. Thanks for watching.